Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Drogan and this is Let's Play uh, Game of Dwarfs. Um, last episode we uh, finished the tutorial basically and now we're going to do the trial which is well a second tutorial I guess. Anyway, let's start the trial. Well, First, we will have to conquer the big black screen. There we go. Okay, so let's see what the quests are. We need to build two beds. We need to gather 150 food. We need to build 20 decorations. Oh, we didn't build a 10. Oh, we did build a 10 things because the, the food is that, isn't it? I don't know. We need to ha unlock uh, one tech which is very easy. We need to specialize in military dwarf and we need to activate traps. Get enough research points to unlock the engineering tag, build tree traps and build enough generators to power up the traps. So, yeah, we can do that. All right, here we are. The trial of clan leaders. If we complete this, then I have proven myself as a true dwarven clan leader. Don't get your beard in a knot yet, boy. Being a clan leader requires you to be able to take care of your dwarves. King Father, where are you? I'm looking at your progress from the sidelines. Don't worry about me, just focus on the task at hand. So, yeah, we have, well, Drogon, the beardless, with the beard. We have uh, Worker Bavna. Let's pause. We have one fighter, as far as I can see. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, two warriors. There we go. Pulik and Tholbard. We have two diggers. Yep. Yeah. And one worker. So, first off, we're gonna get some food here. Now you can see the actual values that things get. So, each of these costs something 15, 25, 20. And they give one food. So this is what it costs. This is what it provides. So the mushrooms. See, this is weird. I don't know why this is. The lemon tree costs more, but it also only gives one food the same as these, the mushrooms. Which is strange to me. Anyway, let's uh, do the mushrooms then, because, you know, apparently they are the cheaper ones. Let's do that. And we also, um, the ale tree uh, costs 60, but provides eight happiness, which is, as I said before, this bar here. So you need to keep your dwarves happy as well, which you can do with decorations and uh, flooring and walls and, you know, uh, beer trees, ale trees. And then you have the log plant, which is your own, well, one of the few ways of getting wood in this game. Not in that way. Actual wood. So, let's do these. And then, let's start digging out this here. See what we can find over there. Because apparently there's a lot of gold here. Alright, and let's speed this up a bit. Attention. What is my task exactly? What are you doing? This is more important. <laughs> when you reach the treasure chamber somewhere around here, then your task is done. But to reach it, you need to prove yourself a true dwarven clan leader. Now, what's going yes, on? yes, I know. First, I need to have a functional home. I've already started with that. Oh, yes, you've been busy building indeed. But you also need to keep your dwarves happy. Build more beds, gather more food, and build some nice decorations. Make your settlement something to be proud of. So, yeah, exactly what I said, you know, five minutes ago. Well, first we need to dig this area out a little bit. There we go. Because, like I said, I like things dug out nicely. Uh-huh. It's good. Uh, areas again. By the way, I've given you three King's Quests to complete. 
These are more difficult tasks which you do not need to complete. However, if you do, then you will earn respect from all dwarves. Who knows? Complete enough of them and you will become a legend in your own right one day. Pfft. If you thought them up, they can't be too hard. Look in your quest log if you acquire more information about how to complete them. So, we already looked at those. And they're not too difficult. Uh, Alright, what we can do is... Oh, we can get our pets. Cool. Let's get three more dwarves. Uh, dwarflings, anyway. Because we can have three more, and they can just uh, sit here and acquire uh, experience while we don't need them at the moment. Which is a very uh, good thing to do. What we also can do, and should do, is build more beds. Now, as you can see, the uh, stone bed gives one happiness, one sleep, and costs 20 stone. The straw bed, though, gives two happiness and one sleep, and costs a bit more. And then the, the comfy bed, you know, three happiness, three sleep. So... Yeah, it, it all, you know, you have to weigh things and, and stuff like that. So, uh, let's see, how much... For the moment, I'm going to build a few straw beds. I'm going to upgrade these later on to be the, the comfy beds. But right now, I can't afford many comfy beds. So we're going to put uh, six here. Oh, and I don't have enough uh, gold, apparently, for the last one. But, we can have five beds, which is very good. See, we can upgrade them, but for now I'm just going to leave them there and acquire some XP. Now, I could use another Digger Dwarf, though. Let's make another Digger Dwarf. Ah, now the dwarves are somewhere to sleep. Well done, dwarves. Yes, well done. But having beds does not mean that dwarves should lie around and be lazy, like you have been doing all your life. Now get back to work. Fine, fine. Jeez. So yeah, now they can uh, finally sleep. And there's some question marks over there. Let's see if there's anywhere else on this level. No, not really. So that's probably the first area that we're going to need to go to. Wasn't there also a sign that said dig? I don't remember now. Oh well. Oh. Apparently one of our diggers is in trouble. Let's see. He's tired. But we have beds. They're right there. There we go. Ah, oh, shite. I remember now. They need to be able to actually access them. Uh, see, they need to uh, be able to stand next to them. Uh, and they couldn't right now. So you always need to leave a space. Let's leave that one there, put that one actually over here. There you go. Now the dwarfs can actually go to bed, as you can see. And yeah, up here you can see all your different, uh, uh, another dwarf is tired. Yeah, unfortunately we're working on the beds, we need more gold. And you're not digging up the gold that I said here. No, one of the kids is tired. Uh, actually, I also need to set the controls here just real quick because there we go. Uh, this needs to be W and this. No. This needs to be W and this needs to be A. Rotate camera left. Apply. There we go. Because I'm working with an Azure keyboard, so the QWERTY setup did not work for me. All right, come on. Um, ah, we have some more gold, so we can build some more beds. 
Now where are we going to build those beds? For now, let's put them here. There we go. Right, let's move this one back here. Like that. And build another one next to it. Like that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So after this, we should get one more, and we should be good. Oh, and we have reached the end here. Good. Let's DQ those. Put in a few more like this. Ah, there's a dig sign. We need to dig that way, apparently. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start digging these out. So silver is also um, a most common form of wealth. So it's the same as gold, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's worth less, obviously. Well, let's get these as well. Let's get all the stone here. Don't worry, we're going to beautify this up a bit uh, later by putting some things in the way. Okay, so this here is going to be nothing. Now we need some stairs over there, otherwise that dwarf won't be able to get out, and he's going to, you know, starve. There we go. And he's tired. Okay, so what we can do now, because now we know that this is actually the end, we can put some dwarven bits over here. Uh, there we go. Move that one as well. There we go. That one isn't in use. And we need a new stairs over there. Actually, let's move the stairs from here. So no one's using that for a moment. Uh, there we go. Should be able to get out. Yep. Move that back there. We've reached the maximum capacity of a resource. Up in the left corner you can see the maximum number of any of the resources we have. If we collect any resource that will go beyond our capacity, then we do not get that resource and it is wasted. To avoid this we need to build more storage such as chests and cupboards. With each storage space we build, the more our capa maximum capacity of resources increase. Yes, indeed. So, as you can see, we've uh, capped out uh, stone here. So, we're either going to waste all of the stone we gather right now, or uh, we can uh, build some extra storage. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to build some walls. Walls are built instantly, and floors as well. So, you don't need a builder dwarf for that which is very handy. So we're gonna beautify this up a little bit. There you go. And that's gonna use up a bit of the, uh, yeah, fancy decorations. There we go, that did that as well, apparently. Ah, much better now. Uh, now the settlement is starting to look pretty nice. You bought those decorations and put them there? What, what's wrong with my decorations? No, no. To each their own, I guess. So yeah, apparently our uh, dwarven father doesn't agree with where we put the walls. You know, which is basically on the walls. But sure, whatever. Um, actually, looking at that, hmm, that's interesting. Because this is undigium, so basically what we could do is dig the entire level out except this here, and then, yeah, that could work. Uh, let's do that, why not? And that's a lot less hassle with all of the, uh, you know, with all of the, the stairs and stuff, and we wouldn't have any real holes in our floor anymore, would we? No, we would not. Uh, 
Okay, let's do that. And let's add another layer here as well. In the meantime, let's get another digger dwarf. And actually, let's let's get another worker as well. And put two over there. Now this is a bit dangerous because these dwarfs can get stuck in here now. But you can always teleport them out if that happens. If they start getting cranky and stuff like that. So you need to look up here. So the most important, uh, in my opinion, the two most important are the digger dwarfs and the fighter dwarfs. Uh, oh, we're, we're full on stone again. Uh, let's build some stone floors over here to make it fancy. Actually, not there. I said pause. Let's move this to there. And let's build some floors again. It is a bit annoying that you have to do like every part like just one every time. It's very tedious and time consuming, but you know, can't be helped. Uh, let's sell that. And in the meantime, you know, we're gonna need them eventually, so let's build some chests now. Um, so we can have all these chests here, and we have cupboards over here as well. Uh, so they increase happiness and they increase storage. Uh, this one, for instance, costs four times as much as this one, but only provides one bit more of uh, happiness and uh, like three times as much um, storage. But this one only takes two spaces, while if we want to make the same as this, it would be three of these, kind of. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one of these, and I'm going to build one of these. That way we're, one, using up our stone, which is the resource we have a lot of right now. Oh, we have one dwarf that is getting very tired. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this. No, no, not that. We're going to move the bed. How can we not move the bed? Okay, we can't move the bed apparently. We're gonna move this bed down here. That way, hopefully. Oh. And another dwarf took it. Now, he sh Hey, you can take the bed. Oh, he's hungry. That's it. There we go, he's hungry. He should be able to get up now because they have access to the stairs over there. There we go, and yeah, we got like 200 more. So that's good. And we've got a thousand now, awesome. Right, now this one is currently trapped up there. So what we're gonna do we have loads of wood, so we're going to make some wood stairs and put those over here so that he can go up and down. Actually, no, let's put them over here. Oh, balls. I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about something. I forgot that they can't actually, they, they need to access it, like, directly. So they wouldn't be able to uh, get to that, these two here. Which is very annoying. So what we're going to have to do is, well, we can build a platform around it. That's fine. Right now he can get up and down, so it's okay. Actually, let's start building that platform. Uh, here, let's take these. 12 stone. This bridge 
and this is wooden block. How is this how is this guy hunger? I mean, he can get up to there. There you go. Let's build another table. At the bottom floor then. Um, oh, this is the Harvest DLC table apparently. Well, I just take the normal table. Let's build that over here. All right, and we were, uh, and that guy is, seems to be stuck up there. Um, we were going to build stuff over here. Uh, tu -tu -tu -tu. Yeah, let's just build these. And see, he's also hungry, but oh, now they can't. Okay, I get it. Move this one, actually. Let's move it over there. Now oh, the table just fell down, so that doesn't really matter anymore. Anyway, let's take this and put it over there. Oh, and these two are completely stuck. Oh. Yeah, the dwarves aren't too smart sometimes. And apparently, uh, there you go. Okay, so let's move this oh. over there. There we go. We are losing a lot of food though. Let's put this there so that they can reach that. Ah, it's just because he couldn't reach it before, that's why, okay. Um, let's sell this one because he can't reach it anyway. Uh, let's move these over there. There we go. So that dwarf can go outside, or downstairs or whatnot. <sighs> yeah, it's uh, sometimes very annoying to. I mean, I haven't made myself. Uh, I haven't made it easy for myself either. I know that. It should be a lot easier now. Well, a lot, a little bit easier. For everything they can. As soon as this is done here, it's gonna be a lot better. Too bad you don't have like extra speed after this. Guys, I know you like digging over here, but you really need to start, need to start digging at the other side as well. That guy seemed to be stuck somehow. Okay, now. We got loads of food, uh, wood. So let's build some wooden stairs here. So that new dwarven dudes can actually get up and down. There we go. Uh, 
Okay. Now let's move these beds. And let's make this our sleeping quarters for now. Mm hmm. And move this other one over here. Right. So now everyone can reach almost everything, which is good. It's very good. Uh, could you guys please start digging? Oh, wait. I, c I know what's wrong. This is a problem. There's your problem. I also should take this out. And not take that out. Oh, and we're full up on wood, which is kind of good. Which means we can build some more wooden chests. Um, let's take the ones that make people happy as well, because happiness is very important. Um, t -t 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 -t. Now let's put these here. There you go. Um, let's finish the walls as well, because this is getting very ugly, to be honest with like the half done walls. Okay. Oh. No, I don't need that one there. This one can go over there. Thank you. Now, let's do some more. out a bit. In the meantime, let's have them dig out further. See, I don't know, you can't put floors on these bridges though, which is a bit annoying in my opinion, but, you know, whatever. They don't look too bad. Oh, actually, we can build uh, those some more bridges around here so that they can actually go all the way around them. On this extra platform. There we go. Let's dig out this line and that line. There we go. I know we should be going that way, but I want to finish this area up completely before we do anything. I want to make sure that everything is all right. Now, yeah, food is going down a lot, but it's actually going up now. It's just good. What I can do is sell one of those and replace it with one of these. There we go. Alright, and let's put down some more floors. These floors make dwarves happy. I guess. Keep them digging in the meantime. Oh yeah, you can put floors there, but no. Anyway, let's move these. Uh, let's move that one over there. Uh, 
Now, I'm almost going to end this episode, but what I am going to do first is uh, dig out to that here. See if we can manage it. Uh, one line. Yeah, that should be good. So all of my dwarves are going to dig up over there. Oh, as soon as I move the throne, though. There we go. Now we're going to dig over there. Still have one. Ah, oh, we don't have any childs anymore. Children, childs. Sorry. Oh, we've got iron. Nice. And we are seeing new places. That's good. Hmm. Let's build some stairs up to that. Now I am going to have to get a new patch somewhere. Ah, there we go. This is actually a very nice place. I'm going to sell most of this stuff. Um, but right now, I am going to end the video, because we're at half an hour. And um, what I'm going to do in between uh, then and now, uh, between the next video and... Uh, now is I'm gonna dig out this area a lot more and I'm gonna fill in the floor and uh, do the beds and stuff like that so that everything looks a lot better uh, and then next time when we come back we can go down here and see what's what all right so see you next time and I hope you enjoyed the video yeah so let's quickly do this this must be it this must be the outpost room Yes, it is. You've reached halfway through the trial. Well done. If I may advise you, you see that banner over there? It's a military outpost. You can assign military dwarfs to it, just like you can assign worker dwarfs to fertilization stones. When you assign military dwarfs to military outpost, then they will move there and guard that position with their lives. Listen. Fine point taken. I will we'll assign three military dwarfs to this outpost. So yeah, we need three dwarves now, and to do that we first need to upgrade this, which we can technically do right now. But, as I said, we're, that's going to happen for next episode, uh, and we're going to beautify this area uh, in the meantime as well. So, until then, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, I said already, but I'm saying it again, and uh, see you all next time. Bye bye.